All right, hey guys. I'm finally going over um, the recount damage. Sorry for the delay. Uh, I've been doing a lot of arenas and junk. Um, I'm super tired now. I did run ro one run through this, and I was dead tired. I was falling asleep. So I'm trying to wake up and do it again before the weekend's over because I need to get this video out to you guys. Been waiting. Um, sorry, for, yeah, it was bad that I, did, I was just doing a bunch. I was doing a bunch of arena games. A lot of this, most of the data, data is from arenas running Turbo Cleave. I did the data. I did tests um, with um, with Elemental Blast. Also, and also running with a Retribution Paladin and Resto Druid on, um, I don't know if you, if you're watching, oh yeah, if you're watching my streams, by the way, I have been streaming on Twitch, uh, TV, twitch.tv slash Hubrix, the, this guy, my main character, um, the, the videos are saved and recorded on there, so if you want to go through them, skip through to the, uh, arena games, uh, there's some pretty good ones, some pretty bad ones. And terrible and embarrassing ones and there's a lot of me cussing still bad <laughs> which I need to stop so if you don't like that maybe not watch them but I'm I stream pretty often usually in the afternoon uh, to usually afternoon or anytime I guess when I'm doing games when I when I have a something interesting I guess or just playing something that might want to be watched so you go check those out, but I'm going to go over the recount damage right now. First, I got to go through some things. I'm going to go through each of these sources and kind of discuss, okay, what's affected by mastery, what's affected by haste, and then I'm going to kind of add them up. Lightning shield, it's affected totally, or not totally, never mind, sorry, okay, I got to just restart that. Lightning shield is pretty complicated. Part, so a lot of it, most of it actually, probably about half of it comes from being attacked from the defensive proc on it probably a fifth of it or so comes from your storm strike and your lava lash static sh shock procs and the rest probably about seven percent of this 18.2 percent comes from unleash fury procs from the level 90 talent and i found this out really because when i uh, when i also tested um when i also tested elemental blast when i tested elemental blast and i had lightning shield up 100% of the time, it still was about 10% of my total damage, and that, and I figured that just couldn't have been, most of that couldn't have been from Storm Strike and Lava Lash uh, Static Shock procs, so a lot of, most of it really has, has to be the defensive procs, which may be on your target that you're trying to kill, may not be, so I'm not really sure if that's a reliable kind of measurement of your damage, it's so it's pretty complicated this lightning shield damage i wish it was kind of divided up into static shock procs and and defensive procs but it's not um melee that's totally affected by haste storm strike neither haste nor mastery lava lash that's i, th I don't know i'm not sure if, that's, if all the damage is affected by mastery but i'm gonna kind of assume that it is um by the way storm strike and lava lash actually the global cooldowns uh, actually aren't shortened by haste as I thought they were because they're melee attacks and and physical attacks aren't shortened by global or shortened by haste the global cooldowns uh, just spell but all your spells and all your totems every other ability uh, every other ability's global is shortened by haste but not storm strike and lava lash um, so next wind fury attack probably about seven percent of that eight point four percent is affected by haste because some of the procs come from storm strike though probably not too many most of it probably is from auto attacks storm strike offhand wind lash that's your ascendance auto attack 5.2 percent it's a pretty big chunk that's affected by both haste and mastery storm blast that's what storm strike changes changes into that's five percent frost shock 4.1 percent storm blast offhand 2.5 percent it's pretty interesting that this, the ascendance auto attacks do more damage than storm strike um, your storm strike damage is actually more than your melee damage Which is pretty really interesting, but that's not the case for some reason for the ascendance damage for some reason Actually that does see oh actually, that's that's because you can't miss That's because you can't miss with auto attacks um, while in ascendance mode So your wind lash so your auto attack damage is actually 
pretty huge. So, so in terms of in terms of ascendance damage, it's probably almost a push. How uh, uh, between haste and mastery and increasing your ascendance damage, your storm blast is totally affected. Is just total totally um, uh, mastery though plus crit maybe. And storm blast is a pretty huge hit. Uh, the two times that you can use it w while in ascendance. So we're gonna go to storm blast offhand. That's the that's oh, oh no actually actually never mind yeah storm blast and storm blast blast offhand. So the auto attacks and the storm blast attacks are actually equal, which is interesting. So that's so that's definite. So that's, that's definitely that means that definitely more of it comes from mastery. That mastery will definitely increase more increase your sentence damage by more than your haste damp, than your haste than haste will. So then you go to windlash offhand. That's the offhand attack. Unleash frost. Already went through that. Oh uh, no! Unleash frost and unleash wind. That's your unleash elements. Not af not affected by haste. Either room for unleash frost is affected by mastery a bit. Frost brand attack. That's that's affected by both haste and mastery. Storm lash affected by both haste and mastery. Though a lot of it comes from your abilities, your activatable abilities. Lightning bolt, 0.8 percent. Both haste and mastery probably equal, equally affected by it. Uh, earth shock, flame shock, yeah. So I'm gonna kind of go through. I've done this several times with several builds. Um, for from data that I collected from battlegrounds and arenas mixed together, and I always always come out to the, about the same percent of damage that's affected by haste versus damage that's affected by mastery. So first I'm gonna go through haste, lightning shield. I'm gonna take about seven percent of that. Eighteen point two percent is affected by haste. So I'm estimating seven percent comes from Unleash Fury. Melee attack 16%. Uh, so that's 23%. Storm Strike no. This is this is the this is the damage affected by haste right now. 23% Storm Strike no. When uh, Lava Lash no. When Fury attack yeah I'll probably take another I'll probably take 7% from that 8.4%. So that's 30% damage affected by haste. Storm Strike offhand no. Wind Lash um, 52 5.2. So that's what was that was there at 30%. So 35.2%, Storm Blast no, Frost Shock no, Storm Blast offhand no, Wind Lash offhand yeah, so 22.4 is 37.6%, Unleash Frost no, 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 Storm Lash I'll probably take 1% of that, so 38.6%, Lightning Bolt 8% or 0.8%, um, was I at 36.8%, I don't know. 37, no, I was at 37.8 percent, so that's about 38.8 percent. About I forgot, <laughs> I'm really tired right now. I'm just going through it. It's 38.8 percent. Earth shock, no, 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 no. It's actually less than I got last time when I added it up. That's because I'm taking different weights, I'm just like guessing on different weights to take the percents. So, but usually it's about 40 percent of the damage is affected by haste that I come out to think. I think I missed something actually. I think I missed the wind lash offhand. Yeah, I did. I'll actually go through that again. Okay, seven percent from lightning shield. Melee sixteen, so it's twenty-three. Wind fury seven from that, so it's thirty. Thirty-five point eight percent from storm strike. No, not that. Thirty-five point two percent from wind lash. Um. Thirty-seven point six percent from wind lash offhand. 39.9% from Frostbrand attack, that's it. 40.9%, I added 1% from Stormlash, and 0.8, so 41.7% after Lightning Bolt. Alright, so there, that was closer. 41.7% from, is affected, of, the, of this damage is affected by haste. Yes, good joy, and go. So, I'm gonna go through Mastery next. I'll probably take 10% of this lightning shield damage because I'm, I'm going to include the storm strike and lava lash static shock procs. It's probably 10% of that. 10% of that and the rest 8.2 I think is defensive procs which I could include some so I'll probably take 11%. I'll include 1% of that. So I'll take 11% of that damage. Maybe 12%. Alright 12%. 12% for lightning shield. Lava lash 9% so that's 21%. 
Surf Strike, no. Wind Lash, yes. 26.2%. Storm Blast, 5%. Um, 31.2%. Frost Shock, 4.1%. Is 35.3%. Storm Blast Offhand is 37.8%. Windlash offhand is 40.2%, or that's adding 2.4%, 40.2%, Unleash Frost, 42.6%, Unleash Wind, no, Frostbound Attack, yeah, 44.9%, Stormlash, the entire thing, so 46.8%, Lightning Bolt, um, 47%, Point six percent earth shock forty eight point three percent flame forty nine point two percent from the flame shocks. I don't know if you can read this and and keep up with me. So forty nine point two percent of the damage is affected by mastery about which is kind of damning to my to my initial um initial ideas about haste. So 49.2% of my damage comes from elemental damage. 41 point something, was it 7? Comes from haste damage, or comes from haste. Or is, it, or is helped by haste. So then after you consider that, you uh, you consider the effect of the weight, the weighting effectiveness. Like I said before, mastery gets worse the more you get, but at this point, at 31.73%, it'll probably be more beneficial it's it's probably I'm probably at low enough that it that it's still it's very comparable. Its scaling is very comparable to to haste. In that haste will um or in that mastery will increase my elemental damage as much as haste will increase my damage that is affected by haste in terms of percent. So since, since a bigger chunk of, of the damage actually comes from elemental damage mastery does seem pretty strong but then you just have to consider global cooldowns and global cooldowns are absolutely huge absolutely huge uh, when while you're playing especially in these high intensity arena matches where you're just trying to go as fast as you can as fast as you freaking can about um, in in living and pulling out your your own damage and purging especially you know popping whatever you need to pop as fast as you can and haste in that regard does a ton so it's kind of hard to quantify haste it's a lot a lot of it is something that you, oh god my voice is cracking I'm getting so tired a lot of that is something that you have to feel um and kind of you know think about it but after going through all this d data I think I am going to start stacking a little bit more, at least a little bit, I'm still going to stack haste, and still going to get a good amount of crit, I'll go crit soon, but I think I'm going to start putting a little bit more into mastery, because you know, as you notice, a lot of this, you have melee attacks, which aren't going to help you take something down much, very much, they're not going to, it's not, a lot, ma mastery affects your burst, really. Besides Storm Strike, Storm Strike does probably the most amount, of, most of your damage while playing. But neither haste nor mastery affects Storm Strike damage. Um, maybe haste does a little bit because you can get through your global cooldowns faster to actually use the ability faster. But the rest of your kind of activatable abilities and kind of burst abilities, most of it seems to come from um, mastery. But then, like in arenas, I mean, the value of haste and purging is kind of is almost is almost unmeasurable. Just you know, just purging shields, being able to purge shields when they go up. But there's so many buffs. There's so many buffs now. A lot of the times that purge is just not too useful sometimes because there's just so much stuff to get through. A lot of the stuff is a lot of trash buffs. But I will think about it. I'll think about how. How it'll go down, and I'll, I'm going to be trying mastery soon, or yeah, next time I go through it. Probably now. I'll probably go reforge now some of the stuff, 
get rid of some extra or some of my haste that I have. I'll probably go up to about at most 36%. Yes, I'll go up to at most 36% mastery for now and see how that works out. Because, because like I said in the other video, if you watched it, then you have to measure, you know, how much, how much of my current damage are these stats actually going to increase. And that brings me to crit. So as you see, more, a bit more than half of my damage is affected by mastery. And crit increases, at this point crit increases my elemental damage by about six. 65% of the effectiveness that mastery does. Crit helps it about 65% as much as mastery helps it. Which is which is not that big um, but it's still a pretty good amount. And then also on top of that crit increases the damage of my melee attacks and my, and my storm strike which are the biggest two um, components of my damage. Plus Crit gives me the flurry, which further increases my melee attacks, which also increases my haste and shortens my global cooldowns. So enhance is actually <laughs> a crazy beautiful, beautiful beast that that it's hard to pin down. You know what's good, but I'm starting to think that just an even, sp a pretty, pretty even spread would be a pretty good idea for for now and for even probably all the way until the end of the season and even spread of bonus stats I'll think about it. I'll go through more and I'll do some more testing and actually try it out in arenas and see how effective it is because I have been perch spamming and and there's some things like mages that can just spam spell steal and if you're running with a wrestler druid or something it's kind of bad but if you're running with the rest of Shaman and they're, and they're stealing like Earth Shield and stuff, it's really good to stack a lot of haste. So it can kind of depend, but I'm going to try a little bit more mastery anyways. Oh yeah, the crit. I was getting to the crit. So crit is like 65% of as effective as mastery, increasing your elemental damage. Plus you consider, yeah, the physical attacks. So crit does seem better to me than haste, like even now at increasing your total damage. Your total damage, but not like, but that's, but that's perhaps not your burst damage. So it's kind of, it's pretty odd. It's pretty odd to do. I think I'm not. I don't have quite enough mastery. So I'll, I'll but I'll buff that a little bit more. So you can get what you want from this. A lot of it does seem like personal play style. Still, like I said before, um, but I really don't like the feel of not stacking as much haste as I can just because it just feels so slow and I don't know if I'll be able to get as effect be as effective as I want to be but I'll see that's my initial take on this on the recount data and my stats I'll probably do another take on it um, once I try shifting around some stats and stuff and and once I get my offhand weapon my melee damage is gonna actually gonna increase by a lot but it's also going to increase my other damage a lot too because there's a lot of PvP power. So yeah, that's my initial assessment um, is try stacking a little bit more mastery. And I'll see how that goes. Alright, thanks for watching. Maybe you can try it along with me. And let, you guys can let me know too like what you think. I, I've, I've, I heard a couple of you told me that you start, started to stack haste and it's been working out really good for you. And that's what I think. Um... Most people will actually think just because it feels so better and it's just, you know, it's a lot more versatile, but we'll see. Let me know what you guys think, how you, if you've been trying out haste and compared to mastery and what you think about the two and I'll be doing some more testing. All right. I've been rambling on enough. I got to watch my show, watch my favorite show and go to bed. <laughs> so till next time. Adios. Oh, watch my stream sometime. I'll probably stream tomorrow on Monday in the afternoon. Yeah. At twitch.tv slash Alright, see you later.